that's that's a Green that, Hornet, White Privilege, the movie. <laughs> 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 that's not bad I'm violence good. is good as long as a white guy does it Green Hornet the sequel <laughs> to Driving Miss Daisy <laughs> we are using an Asian now very progressive of us they're mm-hmm. also cheaper <laughs> and he's a robot <laughs> yeah he's an Asian robot how cheap can you get <laughs> Green Hornet the prototype to Google Drive <laughs> <laughs> Google Driving Miss Daisy <laughs> And Thanks, guys. This. Tune in next week. I've got a show tomorrow in Vienna. I'm Famous Jim Williams, FamousJimWilliams.com. I have a show four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care, and I don't care about the next episode because I won't be here. Just kidding. This is I don't blast. care about this episode. I'm Reginald Ferris. <laughs> Final conclusion. No. Oh, okay. He was yes. Jim was a nigger. That's why. He, <laughs> that's why he's allowed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I wanted. I wanted to live a day in your shoes. I try reach over borders. Let's be honest. I probably shouldn't say it either. But well, <laughs> so let's. You should say it half to... as much as you do. Just Nick. That would be yeah. What's up, Nick? <laughs> Wait, when you say that the Knicks are playing tonight... That's the Knicks, dickhead. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Movie, two hours long. Podcast recording, Indefinite. Oh <laughs> Just No, go. we have a hard limit because I only have 96 uh, gigabytes of SD card. But we know... But it's, to no, work with. So. I like how you said it. Like, that gives us any idea how long this is going to be. Two hours. Okay. Tops. As long as, yeah, just remember, I have I mean, a show can, tomorrow I can, night. I have a show tomorrow night in Crom Lodge. It's not going to be out by then. It's not going to be aired this month. No. This oh. is going to, yeah. I had a show had in Crom Lodge. Thank you if you, you were there. You can your shit later, guys. All right. But people aren't going to listen until the end. <laughs> this show I have in June. You assume they start to listen at the they beginning. They start the gates. <laughs> So we watched the 2011 movie, The Green Hornet, and I didn't get to introduce myself. Oh, people! How are they gonna know, know who I am? People know who you are. Come on, the listening numbers. Jack Holmes everything. back in the building. What's up? <laughs> I just got back from the shopping mall. <laughs> How does he say Darth Maul? Is it Darth Maul? Honestly, it's probably Paschetti. <laughs> <laughs> A stupid affair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, control yourself. <laughs> because this is this movie already broke me. I had to rewatch this shit. Why you liked you... it the first time you saw it? Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoilers. James Franco was not every character in the Green Hornet. I know it's uh, it's unrealistic because it's a radio play. It was all played by one person. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Well, this is an original film, goddammit. <laughs> James Franco was not every character in Seth Rogen's The Green Hornet. <laughs> Who knew? I thought Seth he would, would at least be Kato. The <laughs> they give him Asian face like it's Cloud Atlas. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. <laughs> so, I haven't seen a car crash that bad since Green Hornet ran a cop off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Which Helton happens multiple his, times. Yeah, in his first act of vigilant, vigilantism. Yeah, oh, that's a hard word, apparently. Yeah. Vigilantism. Nice. He, it, was, it was to just be like, oh, the cops, cheese it, run them <laughs> off the road. <laughs> yeah. Also, they have this magic car that can perform nearly any tasks you ever want from it. Except it, like, make good coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they that is put, the... That is the, is not very a funny observation. Sorry, I hit the microphone, but that is the cheese. It is the key to the oil and water fucking thing of like cheese. It's like yeah, but it's like we kill people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, cheese it. It's the cops. Boom. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, that's Again, not. It's that's never, not cheese it. No, Kato, we're superheroes. The, We've only the, killed fifty-two people, and most of them were innocent bystanders. It's the gosh darn it. Whoops. Yeah, it's the gosh darn it mentality of the radio play, basically. Like. Ah, see them crooks over there? Yeah, and then they have hardcore murder in it. Thinly and veiled. I mean, I admit that... The, the, so the, many the, people are set on fire. Hardcore in, murder with beanbags. 
Yeah. Like, they're shooting yeah. people with beanbags and still killing them immediately. Yeah, because it's like 120 beanbags and they have, like, they have just from the trauma they die in this case. Like, it's crazy how much murder they it's commit. It's like if you just, like, basically, they're like, oh, let's use non lethal ar- arsenal. Yeah. So we'll use beanbags. But they use it in this, like, way that it's going to definitely kill you. It's like loading a claymore with beanbags. It's like, <laughs> it's still going to kill everybody. Yeah. It was just. Uh, the most painful that way that honestly, you can do. You could load a claymore with packing peanuts and it would still be deadly. Yeah. And that's yeah. basically what they've done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and also, they did that thing with the beanbags that, as you just explained, can also be lethal. After they already actually killed people, and then I don't remember, did they ever go back to non lethal methods? No, no, so that they, was they just have like. Rocket launchers, machine guns, and everything. It was just that one they time. They used guns on people in that same fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently is paid off because when he died, like, and Seth Rogen. Fact, started okay, to... If you're going to pull out a no debt collector's game, <laughs> I'm going to be so <laughs> mad at you. <laughs> you Austrian <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> This is not believable because no one was like, hey, who is going to finish paying for this mortgage? (laughs) (laughs) Like, there's so much unbelievable shit in this movie that this is actually, like, a gem in there that, like, reflects Oh, it's great. I I, I love it. Like, for me, that's clown. The the (laughs) self-doubting... Yeah, yes. the self-doubting villain that's no, really think... actually good at his job. Like he's a serious, fucking crazy. You do not think I am scary? <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, Disco yeah. Santa Claus. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, di- two different times where the movie tries a disco insult yeah. that doesn't make any sense. No sense. Yeah, he was wearing like a like black shirt, black yeah. black pants, like a, like a jacket that was black, but had like. Maybe like a paisley kind of like suede thing going on at most, but it was all like it looked like an eighteen eighties French wallpaper. It was quite. <laughs> that might be the best reference I've ever heard you make. <laughs> <laughs> oh, appreciation! Finally, it came true. Okay, I take it back. Um, but yeah, it was like so low key. It's like you look like a disco Santa Claus. Yeah. And then the next one, uh, it was whenever Seth Rogen's character wanted to just talk about Green Hornet in the newspaper and like I know you're trying to turn this newspaper into a disco tech <laughs> what first off why is a guy in LA saying disco tech <laughs> it's a what's very with all this expression? fluorescent lighting yes it's like hippie central in here I smoked a doobie once. I know what the jazz is about. Look, you and your it's youngsters disco. with your molly and yeah. your newspapers. <laughs> and shoving your vodka tampons about your ass. I did five separate stories about it. I know it. Quality ta- uh, tabloid magazine. What if the magazine actually was a tabloid? What if the magazine was like a clip for a gun? Also, <laughs> <laughs> because it's a newspaper, not a magazine. I get it. <laughs> and, <laughs> Uh, again, at, at, at several occasions, you mentioned that I could have written this movie. I, I'm not convinced you didn't, dude. <laughs> like, it was, it, honestly, you guys, if you listen to fucking, this is episode 73? You've, uh, yeah. You've heard 72 and a half episodes of this fucking podcast. Honestly, you know Paul's level. And this was not above it. This was not above it at all. <laughs> no, but like, there was so much when I'm just like, this seems exactly like something that Paul would fucking write. <laughs> They kill a lot of cops in this one. Oh, they they don't solve any crimes. Like all they well, do, they, solve they go it after by the, kill them. They, they go after the gang members, yeah. but the only people that the gang members ever killed in this movie, even after the inclusion of Green Hornet, is other gang members who cross them. The only people who are getting hurt were bad guys until Green Hornet came in yeah. and just added like a, an Avengers level of collateral <laughs> damage <laughs> but in a very ah cripes manner again again it, it, it's if they made Knight Rider th- <laughs> it's, a, it's a, if they, they, they let a Texan yep, yeah, design okay, I'll take it. it was close just a little bit yeah. like, I almost went Jiminy but <laughs> I mean, ah, Jiminy uh, the meth lab's on fire yeah. golly gee <laughs> the, the car could have been designed by like meth lab's on fire <laughs> Ah, oh, golly gee, all my meth's going up in smoke. Thanks. <laughs> golly gee, no. <coughs> Blodnowski's going to kill me. <laughs> it's a g- 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 green hornet. <laughs> it's Palatial? So, 
Put, yeah, that's like a palette relating to a palette. Yeah, yeah, no, I got. That, it's, we can we can like do that with the language. We can do that. is a word. All right, it's cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we can use the words in the language. <laughs> no, I mean, but like, you know, palace, I know. Palatial. Like not, you have with like, scholastic jerk. A mansionic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also. Mansioniacal. <laughs> Blatnovsky's one liner was amazing. That the was right. Yeah. Himself, no. Oh, Thunder, Thunder strikes, strikes lightning. lightning. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Whoa. No, that I I really enjoyed it that. It doesn't even make sense. Exactly. That's the point. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> yeah, and we That's take what... it and use it as a positive. Absurdist and delivered by a good enough actor performer, I buy it. If anyone else would have spouted Again. random shit. It's that same of him trying to be a villain. That's these like, ha ha. Christoph well, Waltz think I'm not really scary? sells it. Yeah. You think I'm not scary? Let me give you one-liners. Those are snappy and grave. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Let me show you. Thunderstrike lightning. Yeah, See? Yeah. It's almost like it's like Tomash's bit about how like when you're getting mugged, they just ask you a random question to yeah. confuse you so you don't know how to respond. Like Tomash is like, uh, what are you doing? What are you not doing? They're like, what am I not doing? That's some deep shit right now. And, and then it's so you're getting wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And this is like, thunder strikes lightning. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you figure it out, you're buried. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Chud, Chud Cement Force. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Because my, my dick is, uh, is, is granite heart, uh, 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 concrete heart. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. Bring us Drift City, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on home. Double down. Fucking triple, triple down. Double maybe maybe that'll work. To, to triple down. Quadruple down, Paul. You just... You do you, man. Oh, uh, dude, I, I, I just... Paul, please cement force this to be funny. I <laughs> yeah. really need you. No, no, you laid the in- initial groundwork now, but I should really... Uh, brick by brick, make See? my own. <laughs> make your own jokes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I should really brick by brick make stuff funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have laid the groundwork by a, a, a humorous bed. <laughs> it's really all you have to do is just kind of lean upwards. <laughs> 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 Like, it's not even low hanging fruit, but I've, I've pulled the branch down. All you have to do is just kind of squeeze, and you're not nailing it. You should never nail brickwork. That's not how you... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, like, if you were building something, you'd be using a brick as a hammer. Like, oh, yeah, fuck, yeah. I'll make a joke funny. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am truly stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh, All right. I need to make a joke about a brick. A brick joke? A joke brick. It is a fake. Oh, no, nope, really broke the window. Okay, yeah, but it's it broken. <laughs> it's a very concrete idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Stay with me. It'll be a hard journey. Um, but that's, eventually... That's, that's way too good for Paul. Oh, uh, uh, look, at the cement roller has rolled over them. They really got brick rolled. <laughs> Mentioned this, there was there was one up. I'm rebarring both of your future cement based jokes. Ah, can I do the same thing with you for just jokes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what is happening actually the whole movie through. It's just the dad is dying, he's dying and he's oh, imagining the, a, a, the one person, uh, the one way his fucked up son actually became like a responsible human being by being a mass murderer. No, he's not even doing that. He's got sung by the bee, but his fucking big billionaire 1% ego won't let him believe he got killed by a bee. <laughs> so he's having this fever dream where it's a giant conspiracy with a gen with a hypodermic needle and dropped a dead bee on him. <laughs> Better That's movie. the only way that it makes sense that a titan, a sentinel like me could be taken out. Better movie. <laughs> I'm telling you, I still think they should just make a movie called St. Patrick's Day, but it's a spinoff of that one scene where they just killed everybody they saw in green, <laughs> green in the city. Yeah. The point, the point oh, the green yeah, corner. we totally forgot the murder montage. Yeah, where they yeah. just killed... Which one? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's okay, kids. It's PG-13. It's no okay. Boobs, no they, cooch. They did Keystone earlier, so it's, uh, it's goofy. It's wacky. Yeah. <laughs> you know, eh. People die. I would. I, I stand by. I would love to see a movie where it's like a completely like serious yeah. thr- slasher movie, and they just do it all in Keystone for no reason. <laughs> Never address it. 
and maybe even Google, put like a, Google Keystone if you don't know what it is. Maybe it is. Even, it's like the, the like the little bit like like uh, the old yeah, yeah. like Babe Ruth running around the bases like the Nazis Dude. storming Normandy. Again, those are not common things nowadays for the people who are watching this. If you are an American and you don't know, if you've never seen the footage of Babe Ruth running around bases, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't even like sports. It, he's yeah. a legend. Yeah, I know, I know, but like I had to go out of my way to know who Babe Ruth is. You're not an American. Yeah, and most of the listeners. Aren't. I'm trying to bring some internet. Most of the listeners aren't people. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, listeners. Um, they're all Mexican, just like those people who got killed in that kitchen. Shout out to Kato, who's listening to this podcast probably because this was his only job as an actor. No, it wasn't, not, but it could have easily ended his career. No? Okay. What? So, <laughs> I mean, it was accurate, just I didn't get what the comedic pause was. <laughs> Welcome to Paul. <laughs> like, look, those are facts, but why did you expect us to laugh afterwards? I want to give the podcast a little bit of litigious. I want to give it some litigious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't no. worry, keep putting me on. There's going to be a lot of litigation. <laughs> There are better ways to do this trope. There's there, better there's... ways to make a movie. Yeah. <laughs> this movie wasn't... You, you, want, you want to know a better way to make the Green Hornet? Watch Austin Powers with green glasses on. Like, it would Austin, be... I feel like they yes. made this movie the way that we're making this podcast. They just stopped recording when all the good shit happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Reggie. Uh, then there was this <coughs> sizzle after she made the knife hot. Yeah, with under water. water. <laughs> tap, put, tap water from Los Angeles. Yeah, it is the hottest liquid known to us. Well, I mean, they all have, they have all that fluoride that they're using to poison our minds and control us. Oh, yeah, right. that gives that nice sizzle because the chemicals are actually reacting with the blood that you Fluoride's have. Fluoride's actually terrible for your teeth, you know. It actually rots out your teeth and it's all about mind control. Yeah. <laughs> Turns the frogs gay. <laughs> Look, I don't know if the germs are there, but the fluoride will make sure that you can control them and say, don't make me sick. Buy Stop new- turning my frogs gay. Stop making me infected. New world order, I'm on to you. Buy the new FF Plurka, which Defloridizing. Uh, what? <laughs> it only works in German. Buy the new FF Plurka? Plurka, like blocker, but with an O. Because of Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. There's, There's nothing, nothing to, to get. get. <laughs> Another example of me and Reggie being the same side of the same coin. Uh, different sides of the no, same we're coin. we're on the same side of the <laughs> argument against you. The same side of two different <laughs> coins. Yes. <laughs> Another example where I say something stupid, Reggie says, fuck you, you're stupid, and I agree with him. So is Al show Reggie. Oh, Reggie, you're not as fucking different than me as you thought, because I also agree. I'm an idiot. <laughs> you see... <laughs> And the whole crew the back hubris. home. Hubris. Famous yeah. and worldwide. And it's Poland. And <laughs> it's him. Fuck you, Paul. <laughs> Fuck you, Austrian asshole. Because here's how Austrians are. I'm like, oh, man. They're like, I don't know. I couldn't live in Vienna. I can't live in the big city. I'm like, Vienna's not a big city. It's a very small town. And it's, a, it's, a, it's like the, the world's largest town. It's a small place. And they're like, oh, excuse me. It's the second largest city in the German-speaking world. I'm like, you're using the word <laughs> world very liberally. Considering the German-speaking world is two and a half countries. We still have some misinformation that, you know, bounces back from the 40s. Look, I'm telling you, Hitler told me <laughs> the world is, is German, what, yes. Hitler promised the world would speak German by 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps the dream alive. <laughs> Yeah, other places. I'm around. I got a show in Vienna that... Oh, yeah, this won't come out. Not another show. I'm, I'm in hey, Vienna. Here's the world. I was in Vienna. You're welcome. That's yeah. everything. <laughs> I don't know. We're trying, we've been trying to wrap this up for five minutes. I plug, you plug, movie... Links in the description meow, below, guys. Stuff. Thank you for Green Hornet, for staying I around plug, for you this plug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for staying for this long-ass podcast. And uh, till the next time. Bye. 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 Bye 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 bye